Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. What do you do to an employee who screws up, uh, you know, his job or uh, not doing uh, his job right? Or let's say you have an analyst who has to, you know, gather information and come with a conclusion presented to you uh, with a study. And the study, you say, OK, let's do it this way because this analyst did it that way. We will Im implement his uh, suggestions based on his findings and then everything blows up. It's bad. It's crude. And then he's doing again and again and again. Don't you think that that guy is either incompet in incompetent or he's just some your competition's mole in your company? What else could be? Either he doesn't know what he's talking about that means he's not good at his job. Or the second one, he's working for someone to screw up your company because you listen to these guys on two or three or four occasions and then <laughs> your company was screwed based on the information intelligence you received. So we have here, if you remember the British um, intelligence and the US intelligence and the Ukrainian intelligence came and told us that the Russians are done with the missiles. Done, man. They're like, pfft. And that happened in March, April, in April when it was the first uh, time when the Brits came and said, oh, they're almost done. The Russians have no more. That's their stockpile of missiles and rockets are almost depleted. In April, <laughs> we're what, in November, in two days or so? So, and that was in April. And then they came in May, then came in June, and every month they told us, tell us that, hey, Russia doesn't have any more missiles. And we find out they still have them. What's happening now? They again started hitting uh, Ukrainian infrastructure and in this case Zaporozhia and they didn't hit it with mortars and not like that okay these are missiles the expensive ones so let's see I have two articles from the same source which is Ukraine for Ukraine form this is from uh, uh, um, these are as I said Ukrainian um, outlets which means that they will try to uh, uh, minimize or maximize according to whatever they want to achieve if they want to mold our sympathy they will overemphasize the damages produced by the russians if they want to uh, portray the russians there as continue to uh, portray them as terrorists and criminals of war again destruction is great now if they want to say that the russians are just tards they will say well they should but they didn't do any destruction they are bad they're stupid their weapons are not working this work by one half free the other one uh, whatever so this first article uh, they're both from today the 29th of october 2022 so the first article says that invaders which is the russians uh, launched strikes on critical infrastructure in zaporozhia again okay let's see russian invaders launch attack launched no launch attacks on the city of zaporozhia again Alexander Star Staruk, head of the Zaporozhia Regional Military Administration, announced this on Telegram Ukraine Forum reports. And I'm quoting this guy. After a short break, the enemy shelled Zaporozhia again, hitting critical infrastructure facilities, plural. Right? The report says it's important uh, plural because in the second article, they're going to use, uh, I think, singular. The consequences of the terrorist attack are currently being clarified. Secretary of the Zaporozhia City Council, Anatoly Kur Kurtiev, confirmed enemy attacks on the city, adding that there is a threat of repeated strikes. Explosions rang out during an air raid alert. As reported, Russian invaders shelled 12 settlements in Zaporozhia region on October 28th. So they still have... Uh, the ability to blow things up don't they uh, and all this will run what i said about the intelligence coming from uh, those countries i have another one which was the um, german um, i don't know if it was chief of staff he was a military uh, general over there so he was not like andelena uh, berbach and other uh, uh, how do you call it, infantile uh, politicians that are in control of us uh, so this guy his name is uh, something with z zun zan he came and said that uh, the, the Russian the Russians would not run out of um, uh, missiles and uh, uh, rockets and mortars anytime soon, he said. And that was about two or three months, two months ago, I think. 
it was when this guy said I made a video on that and he, he mentions over there why and he his main argument is uh, Soviet Union which then became from Soviet Union Russia broke out has a huge arsenal that was that was compiled over so many decades even if you have grad uh, MLRS's which are Soviet they are still good and they had time to build them to build to build and they're stored somewhere because they're functional it doesn't matter if you have let's say uh, a uh, AK-47 from let's say 1950 because uh, 47 uh, 1950 it's and it ne never operated it's right there it's greased it's good untouched if you take that and give it to someone I'm pretty sure it's gonna do the job 95% uh, as well as would be uh, doing an, uh, a weapon an AK-47 an AK let's say Kalashnikov let's put this way it's easier than say AK-47 Kalashnikov made yesterday it will do the job 98% certain I guarantee you that go and get one and see what's the special thing about it Pfft, not really it just uh, it's uh, a little bit smoother and all that but the same thing maybe these ones are even worse built than those ones over there I am um, <laughs> anyway so the same with these guns the grad uh, will do the same job as uh, whatever they have and try to use man obviously will not be that precise but if you have uh, tens of thousands of them and you just push buttons and you hit it on one town on the you know coordinates of one town you can blow that town like this you raise it you raise it and raise it like scrape it or better said make uh, craters so let's see this second article again from Ukraine Forum today 29th of October 2022 Russia's missile attack destroys industrial building in Zaporozhia uh, so an, indu an industrial building was destroyed by Russia's missile attack on Zaporozhia city missile not rockets the ones that is the Russians uh, uh, were about to run out since I don't know the 12th of April 2022 and they still have them somehow now Alexander Staruk the same guy that I mentioned over there head of the Zaporozhia regional military administration wrote this on telegram and Ukraine form reports fortunately and this is the quote Everyone is alive and unharmed after a new enemy missile strike uh, attack. The industrial building was destroyed as a result of the strike. Staruk wrote, so the industrial building was destroyed. Let's see what they said in the other one. Uh, all right, he says that uh, after a short break, uh, hitting critical infrastructure facilities. Okay, well, no problem. They hit one building. Right, that's all. As, the, as reported, an explosion rang an explosion rang out in Zaporozhia during an air raid alert on Saturday. So in one they said it's multiple, in one it says there's one. Let's see the time. So this came at 14.15. So there's 2.15 p.m. The one with one explosion, the other one came at 1.34 with multiple. Wait a second. So the one that says that multiple um, uh, explosions and multiple attacks in the city and uh, the multiple this hitting critical inf critical infrastructure facilities that was reported at today at 1 34 p.m. and then at 2 15 the second article where it says the missile attack destroys industrial industrial b building isn't that uh, infrastructure as well anyway that's uh, the article um, I mean I picked these two articles not to uh, compare them and contrast them whatever these guys are saying I take the the, the main um, idea which is the Russians still uh, destroy facilities critical infrastructure in Ukraine after the um, according to Russians the Ukrainians blew up the Kirsch bridge the Crimean bridge and they're still doing it because they still have the means and the will to do it so I don't know uh, <clears throat> someone is lying and it's not me <laughs> thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just